The stray horse found wandering in Hunting Park this week is now being nursed back to health. The animal care and control team transferred the horse to a farm in Bucks County. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe has more on that handover. We like to have them out in the pasture, able to spread their legs um, and just really, you know, graze and be a happy horse. Dowry and the horse making himself at home in his new home. He was found wandering the streets of Hunting Park earlier this week, but will now be rehabilitated in Quakertown. He's definitely going to hopefully get back to his roots and, you know, get to experience all the open space that we have here available for him. Jackie Burke is the executive director of Last Chance Where? Rescue. Their first order of business was getting Darian weighed in. He came in at 645 pounds, about 200 pounds less than he should be. And then he got to experience rural life, away from the city in his own paddock. You know, they need space, they need enrichment, they need, you know, they don't want to be in a stall 24 7. Um, that's not good for them. That's not what they're meant to do. Um, they're meant to be able to go outside and be in a pasture and come back in and, and still, you know, be worked, be ridden, but but also get the care that they need. And we're told that Darren will have a few months here on the farm. First, he has to get his weight up, and then they'll assess his skills. And then from there, they say, the sky's the limit. Is he comfortable being a riding horse? You know, is he sound enough to be a riding horse? If he isn't, he can be a companion horse. Um, our adoption program is pretty unique. Axe Philly said if Darian was not rescued, he could have been hurt on the street or sent to an auction. While it's not illegal to own a horse in Philly, they remind you of responsible pet ownership. But it's really hard to properly care for them in the city. It doesn't mean it can't be done, but it's really hard, and the average person can't do it. In Quakertown, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.